just now got off the call with a very very important friend of mine who's also actually going to be my client for my next freelance project that i'm going to be doing i'm going to be sharing with you guys the complete know how and the process that i take on how do i build a freelance project right from the scratch it's going to be really, really exciting because i've got a lot of ideas for this video and also hopefully this video turns out to useful for everybody who's watching this let's get the video started All right, so the project is, I just started working on the project here. As you can see behind me, started writing a little bit of code and did run it through the iOS simulator. It worked perfectly fine. So what happens is that when you start working on a project, initially you talk to this client of yours and he comes with a proposal. He says, this is what I want you to do. And if you're okay with that, you would just go ahead. If you're experienced a freelancer, you would have a different set of rules to follow. If you have a lot of clients, you have a different set of rules to follow. But if you're actually starting out, just like me, I'm actually I'm not an experienced freelancer again. I have totally in my lifetime did close to 20, 25 projects, that's it. I did a lot of financial mistakes. I did not accept uh, the proposal from their side or I wouldn't actually quote a proper uh, money for the project. So all of this actually happens when you're starting out. It's something that you learn as you go. Uh, you, you have a client coming to you, you say, yes, I'm going to be doing this for you. But uh, don't start with a money topic immediately as soon as you begin with. Because a lot of times uh, proposals are actually with respect to uh, a project that becomes too huge for you to do or it is something very small for you to do. Like I told you at the beginning of this video, I don't take that many freelance projects. I take very minimal freelance projects and out of those that I take, I'm really choosy on what I can do and what I cannot do. I see if I can do it, I see if I can. it's possible for me to look at the project and say yes, I've completed this project in the given time and that's the first thing I do. Second thing I do is I go back to the client and say this is what I've, I've estimated in my mind and this is what is going to cost for you and if, if you are cool with that let's go ahead with the idea discussion stage and the idea discussion stage is actually the very very important stage this uh, confirmation came as came to me close to 25 days after i actually discussed the idea with the client it is up to you as a freelance designer or a freelance creator to actually structure this idea in a proper way i'm going to be starting with the project here i don't want to take so much of time talking about what is the entire process rather than show the process to you uh, first process is actually looking if i can do that if i can actually complete it in under a week and when i'm sure i can complete it i go with the money making process or the money process client about the financials that is going to cost them and third, pro third process is going to be the complete idea project just take time start working on the project granularize it as much as possible because when you sit, sit down working you should have the entire idea in your head you should, there should not be any uh any, any maybe deviations from there so that's the three steps that i follow to begin with and let's get into the project because the main part of the project is where you actually code the application Day two is here, so just a quick rain check. I'm down with fever, but it's still okay because I can. I think I can com continue completing this entire thing. Uh, just a little bit of a rain check. 60% of the entire work is completed. I have still a little bit of a 40%, little bit over 40%. Uh, still have to link it up with the Firebase and 
models are here just have to link it up with the firebase and hopefully i can complete it today and build the apk as well so that i can send it to the client and let's see how this goes because i am confident but i'm still not sure Finally, final app is completed. I just did integrate it with the Firebase and we are very much good to go. Uh, so the process that I do after I complete the project is that I don't really go and give the entire APK or the release APK to the client. Rather, I would send a limited version or the, uh, maybe a mini version of the APK first, a little bit of data out of the application. Uh, so that couple of things here. So the client usually requests that you host the app in your developer or your app developer account in say for example Google uh, Play Store and give the final APK there. If that is the case you are actually a little bit of in a comfort zone because you have that release APK with you, you are going to maintain the release APK and it also gives you a little bit of peace of mind because there is going to be a certainty to the fact that the client is not going to take the APK away and run. So with that, respect to that, now the client has actually asked for the APK so I am going to be giving the APK but the data at the back end is going to be limited. So until the client pays me the remaining amount of the money, obviously you have to get the money. I'm not going to give the entire uh, data to that. So as soon as I give the entire, uh, uh, I mean, I, as soon as I get paid completely, I'm going to be giving the credentials for the Firebase so that he can go in and control the admin access for that. So that's going to be the entire flow here. I'm just going to take some time to build the APK, little bit of things to correct here and there. I, need, I actually have the requirement doc with me. I'm just going to run through that and see if I've done everything properly one by one. And if I have done everything one by one, I'm going to be building the APK and sending it across and hopefully waiting for no corrections. On the topic of corrections again towards this, I, I know this is towards the end of this video, so I can take a couple of minutes of your time to talk about it. Uh, usually do not accept any corrections more than two iterations. You will see a lot of clients coming back and saying this is not right, that is not, that is not right. But that is not going to work out because they always have a difference of opinion almost every time. Since you cannot completely match their idea or the vision, they might have had a difference in idea as uh, by the time you took, uh, completed the entire application. So make sure that you just do not accept more than two iterations. I do accept one iterations, but at the max, maybe if the client is really unhappy, I will take another iterations to go and correct the changes that he or she wants to. So that's going to be the plan here. Just send the APK across, wait for a confirmation that the application is working fine because it takes so much time to actually do the design doc and then go from the idea stage to development stage. This should work as a breeze. I'm still down with the fever. Hopefully this fever uh, gets uh, well as well. So pray for me. Comment in the section, pray. I'm just kidding. Anyway, let me meet in the next video. Hopefully this video is a little bit informative on how do I take the process of freelance, uh, maybe a client project or anything of that sort. Uh, until then, Bharat, peace out. Have a super awesome day.